Hi students, uh, I'm Rahul Anand, one of uh, the trainers and uh, co-founders of uh, Bee Factory. Uh, in this video, we are going to do a practical uh, run-through of a reading comprehension article uh, as you need to do in CAT. Uh, so uh, the objective is uh, to train you on how you should be reading every RC. Uh, now, uh, this video I'll explain a bit more uh, for, uh, in the let latter part of the further videos which will come tomorrow and day after and so on. Uh, we will directly be uh, uh, indulging in uh, uh, RC run through. This being the first video, I'll just take a minute to explain to you what this blog series is all about. This RC analysis blog series, the purpose is you attempt and find out the central idea in a limited time frame. Uh, the expected time will be given in, these, uh, vlog in this blog series. Uh, once you have done your attempt and written down the four to eight words central idea for every paragraph, you go through this uh, video analysis uh, to understand whether you were uh, to the point and specific uh, in the manner that you should have been. So the, the core of reading is that after you read every paragraph, you should be precisely uh, pinpoint what is the main point or what is the main uh, thing that the author is talking about. So what I recommend is at the entry of the paragraph, after a couple of lines, you should think that what is the subject or theme of this paragraph and when you end, you again think what, what was it eventually about. So uh, in uh, layman terms, you can think of it like when you enter, you think, okay, what am I entering into? That is the subject and when you exit, you think, uh, uh, what did I read about the subject? So that is a predicate. So if you think like that and you'll have a limit in your mind, so there's no need for sentence formation. You can just write down certain words and uh, uh, make a central idea which makes sense to you. So end of the passage, once you have done your speed reading, uh, you very well know that what the entire passage was uh, about if you have written down central ideas of all the paragraphs. So central idea, uh, I'll repeat once again, it is the answer to the question, what is the paragraph about, right? So you need to be as specific and to the point as uh, possible. So it is better to divide it into two parts in your mind, subject and predicate. Subject from the first half of the paragraph, predicate from the last part of the paragraph. So let me do a run through. Uh, my team has given me a CAT 2018 RC. Uh, for this exercise. Uh, so let's go to that uh, RC. Now here, uh, see, when, when you look at the whole RC together, uh, so many things, right? So in, in the actual exam, when you scroll down and you read, uh, you might not remember everything or you might not exactly pinpoint what were the main themes, uh, main points, right? So that is why central idea makes sense. It helps you improve your uh, retention in a fast reading and helps you answer some types of questions uh, directly and also helps you uh, uh, go back to the paragraph where the answer lies and answer fast, right? So let's go paragraph by paragraph, all right? So the first paragraph, the complexity of modern problems often uh, restricts any person's ability from fully understanding it. Now, the factors like, for example, uh, contributing to obesity, there are so many factors, transportation, infrastructure, media, food, norms, biology, etc. So the multi-layered uh, character of complex problems that undermines the principle that meritocracy, that means uh, being the best is something very important. So if till this first part, I ask myself a question, okay, what am I reading about? So I am reading about complexity of modern problems, right? So that is what I'm reading about. Okay. Now I, I, I move further. So now I have a context in mind, right? So what, what is the principle of meritocracy? The idea that the best person should be hired. So there's no best person, right? Uh, that is what it's saying. So when we're putting on a research team for a particular uh, kind of a research, a, 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 a biotech company uh, would not hire the top scorers from a test. Uh, but or on a basis of particular criteria, rather they would seek diversity because the diversity builds a better team, right? So here, uh, if I have to conclude, what about this, uh, about complex modern problems? The author is saying that diversity is, uh, yes, it is good, but, and he is preferring diversity about, uh, above meritocracy. So that is what is the main theme. So I, I thought about, see, four words in the beginning, four words in the end. That is the kind of general rule I keep for myself. First half, say, three, four words, subject I will identify. And in the latter part, I will now think of the predicate. What about the subject? So about the subject that in complicated, uh, in complex problems, diversity matters more than meritocracy. Right. So we go to para two. Believers in uh, meritocracy might grant that teams ought to be diverse. Okay. But uh, then argue that these principles should uh, apply within each uh, category. Okay. So we talked about that the diversity helps. So now these people are saying that uh, meritocracy should apply within each category, but best uh, in each times. But this position uh, suffers from a flaw. Even with the uh, knowledge domain, no test or criteria can be 
I tried to produce the best team. All right. So now I think about what am I talking about here now? Now I am talking about meritocracy in domains that keep, if we divide it into parts, then uh, how does it work? Right. That is what we are talking about. Okay. But let's move further. Uh, now, so example is given here. If you consider neuroscience, there were so many papers uh, published, right? And uh, given the complexity, uh, right, the author says that uh, a team contributes more, which are uh, which uh, have more diversity. So here, uh, what is the final conclusion? Optimal teams uh, would be diverse. So good teams means diversity. Again, so that is the point which is which has been concluded here. So good teams eventually they need diversity, meritocracy, even in domains. Is not a, a very a good thing or a very uh, advantageous thing. That is what the uh, paragraph is all about. See, so I'm looking for particular things, right? That is uh, what it is. In the beginning, I look for some things. In the end, I look for something. And subject and predicate. In between, I run fast, right? That is how it works. Okay. So I am done with two paragraphs now. Going to paragraph number three. Evidence for this claim can be seen in the way papers and patents that combines diverse ideas they tend to rank as high impact and if you look, uh, so again, there's an example coming. So this one is about high impact created in, let's say, patents and claims. So high impact patents and claims, they are diverse. That is what the author is saying in the first part. Okay, let me move further. Random forest uh, is a collection of decision trees, right? And each tree gives a vote, okay? And uh, it can serve many ends, okay? Uh, bank frost, disease, right, right, etc., etc. All right. So when building a forest, you 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 uh, try to uh, if you select the best trees, they make similar classifications, but you want diversity. So you train the, each tree on different data, something called bagging, right? And uh, you train them on hard cases, right? And that ensures more accurate forests. Okay, so what is the point here? High impact patents, right? The uh, more diverse they are, the more accurate they are. So, and there is an example given here to prove it, and that is that was of random forests. So, see, again, in some words, I've just noted down what is this paragraph about high impact patents, papers, etc. Again, prove that diversity leads to more accuracy and an example on the basis of an example which is given as random forest. All right, let's come to the next one. Yet the uh, problems, uh, despite its problems, the meritocracy still remains. Uh, many uh, the, the companies, the colleges, etc., they want to hire the best. So what is this point saying here? The higher best uh, mentality that persists despite uh, all its uh, problems. But the author says that all it guarantees, not a best team, it guarantees homogeneity right but not the best team it guarantees homogeneity but not the best team that is uh, what the author has concluded so again uh, see the first paragraph i found out one part the second paragraph i found the other part so I have a target in mind, right? In the beginning, first half of a paragraph, I'll just write down three, four words. And last part of the paragraph, I'll write three, four words. And every time I keep doing it. So by the time I come to the end of the RC, right? Uh, let me just collect these. Okay, so let, 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 let's understand what this is doing here. This is the first central idea, all right? Let's take the second one now. Uh, right, so... I'm just collecting these. Uh, this is the second central idea. This one is the third one, right? Okay. So this is the third one. All right. Now coming to the last one here. Yep. Okay. So when I collect all these, uh, what do I get? Let's just check this out. Right. So this is the central idea uh, after the complete read. Right. So let me just uh, tell you what happens now. I have very uh, in my first reading itself. Right. I am able to uh, formulate an entire flow, understand the entire flow of the paragraph. So let's see the first paragraph. Well, what is the passage about? I'll just read it. Let's for a moment forget the paragraph and read this and I'll try to understand what the paragraph, the passage was about. This passage is about complexity of modern problems. And the author says that diversity is more important than meritocracy. Meritocracy in domains itself is something which is not very important. Now I understand this because yeah, I, I have read it, right? I can understand from here. And good teams actually need diversity. The author gives examples of random forests to explain that high impact patents, etc. They are all diverse. The more diverse they are, the more accurate they become. And finally, but the author ends with a conclusion saying that still people have that mindset of hiring the best. That's the theory of meritocracy. It still persists. But at best, it leads to homogeneity and not to the best team, right? 
So this is the entire flow or the central idea of the passage. So this is how you are expected to uh, read in the CAT exam and this is how you should be practicing reading every time at home when you are solving a uh, reading comprehension article or when you are doing normal reading for CAT. Right? So I hope uh, this process of reading is clear and uh, um, uh, I would uh, uh, expect that uh, you uh, get this point that uh, half part you get the subject, half part you get the predicate and you read keeping the context in mind in every paragraph. If you build this process uh, and you pro practice it every day when you do reading comprehension, it makes you fast and it makes you very efficient at uh, uh, Q&A uh, in the reading comprehension section. So with this, these words, uh, this was uh, vlog one. Uh, happy learning to all of you. Thank you.